Round three. The quest for pride. Let's see if we can't salvage this turd. Eight drop. Win cons in her hand. Ready to go. You got a flying one two in a wall. I think uh, this is the draft I give up on ingest. Perhaps ingest is blue red. Yep, let's play a card first. This must be uh, the guy who got all the three drop white flyers. Apparently that sucks too. Making land drops. I like it. Drop our wall down. Start flying, doing some of the good things. Got the answer to his uh to the flyer here with counter backup for his fourth turn. And then that's it. That's all we got. Ooh, nice. I hope we're not the worst deck at the table. That's fine. We'll play defense. What do we get rid of anyway? Planes? Uh, why not? Gotta start hitting lands. Wow. He's using up that removal on bad cards. It's not like we're doing much with it anyway, but... I think I can take some hits from a 2-2. Might reproach it as a tax step. I don't think I want to use tightening coils. Actually, Tiny Clothes would be the card to use it on, but I'll we'll reproach it. Mana? No. Not yet. I don't know what he could possibly have in his hand. Griffin. Alright, alright. I think we'll reproach that as well. Hmm. Alright.
And I think we take two. Balance this. Make our island grow. What a jerk. Awaken plus Eldrazi, that's that's pretty bad. He's playing off the top. We'll play defense for a bit, I guess. Angel Renewal is going to do some good things. That is if we can hit land. So I think we'll be going up to 18 lands in the sideboard. Yeah, I'll offer the trade. If he tries to trick me out, I can smite his dude. Gotta hit that mana. Oh, he's got another one. Swell. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna take seven. Yikes. I think that just leaves us dead. Well, not yet. can chump chump and go to two I don't think he's got any haste guys maybe we get some damage in now we can at least draw a card. Bit hasty on the F6 there, eh? Well, at least we're dead regardless. There's our land. Beautiful. Alright, Rampart's gone. Bring an angelic gift and an island. Go and bring in a little life gainer. Yeah, I think that's better than the drone. Ugh. I'd like to win one game. That'd be sweet. We'll try it. We'll run an island. Guaranteed to hit lands. 
No doubt. No doubt in my mind. Beautiful. We're doing it. Hitting lands. Loving life. I'm going to take two to counter his three drop flyer. Ooh, or the Luminar Scout. I know what it does. I want to kill it. This is up there with the worst drafts I've ever had. I'm not going to fog, though. Not yet. Going with the tempo play. No, I'm not. I'm gonna fog. Probably shouldn't want the tempo play. I assume you top deck this land. I know he's got Smite the Monstrous too. So I'll probably lead with the Sentinel. Not today. Tempo it is. Going to ten. Like if I could keep pace, if I could hit five lands on turn five in any of these games. Like I'll admit I would have lost a good number of them, but this one we'd at least have some, a competitive game. This isn't just playing creatures, I mean, using tricks. I don't think this is a removal format. Rule's not good enough or something. I'm at my wit's end. Except I'm not going to win with a big deck. I'll chump. Oh. At what point can you legitimately blame the mana base? Four, 
five, six. I think this dodge is more removal. So I'll play that. I hope he doesn't hit a land. Can't be smited. Died to any, any card essentially. That'll do it. Ugh. Well, that one was hard. That's a hard one to take. I know this deck isn't the greatest, but mana was such an issue in every game. The deck is partially to blame. Awaken plus Big Eldrazi's don't go well together, obviously. Eighteen lands definitely would have helped. With clearly five. Five was the turning point of the game. I could never hit five lands in a consistent manner. I could stall for a good period. I just couldn't stabilize and turn the table. Never got to try that guy out. Ugh. Well, live and learn. I'll see you for the next one with brighter spirits, hopefully. Catch you later.